Ryan. This week, it got six weeks on Wednesday. Today's Friday, so we are due for a six weeks antenatal, six weeks immunization job. Maybe please show the wine. So we are due for a six weeks immunization. I cannot speak English. Immunization job. So we are going to um, clicks to take it. So quick tip or uh, hack. <laughs> quick hack. I know some of you might know, but instead of going to the hospital for the immunization, especially if you use private healthcare, you can just go to clicks or any other, any of this, um, baby, show this can manche. You don't know. They should. Anything. Yeah. You have uh, clicks or this game to take the jobs, the immunization, because there it is cheaper. And yeah, because if you go to the hospital to see doctor, you'd pay, you pay the pediatrician fee then you pay for the injection so there's no need for that drama so just go to clicks and just pay for the injection and move on with life yeah okay so the disadvantage is that you don't get your baby checked but if nothing is wrong with your baby evidently i don't think you need to worry so that's the only disadvantage <laughs> why can't i speak english that's the only disadvantage you don't get your baby checked but at clicks i think they will do the the way in and they would give him the job, administer the injection, and that's it. But I'll take that away. I'll save my money and take that. <laughs> Nothing wrong, my baby. My baby is fine. So that's it. We are now away. Husband is going with us, of course, because me, I don't think I can stand it. I think I'm gonna cry. I feel like it's gonna cry as well because it's older now. He knows pain. You guys know that he took the. He was circumcised like some hours after his birth. So he didn't cry because I mean maybe he didn't know what he, what they were even doing. He didn't know pain at the time. But now he's older, six weeks. Even though I tell him that he looks like he's six years old, <laughs> my baby has grown so much. Like he's losing his baby face really fast, really quickly. I was telling my sister this morning, am I sure I can still call him a newborn? Because I mean, he feels like he feels so old. <laughs> So I feel like it's going to cry and that is going to break my heart. I'm going to cry too. So let's see how that goes. But he's really having fun. He's enjoying his sleep. He likes car ride. Say hello to the people. Okay, that's not say hi. See you guys later. Yes, no, of course. Running late as per usual at this point. But our appointment is 3 to 3 30, between 3 to 3 30, and it's 3 or 5, so it's just 5 minutes lateness. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go. People just be looking at you when you're filming, like, but I forgot this booklet where they put in all the dates and um immunization time and all that sure. so i want to come take it now and yeah i'm tired i'm really hungry i need to find food i'm just going to carry my old the old bag i don't know why i didn't carry it in the first place i wanted to be like sissy sissy a cool but we help now so i'm just going to carry the old bag so yeah. it has my purse i can buy food to it i'm really hungry My child is so unbothered. Unbothered is our name. <laughs> so we're just waiting for definitely forms. Always feel forms when it comes to these things. Mm. 
<laughs> it must be really sweet. Going to change your diapers. <laughs> Sorry. Even me, I won't cry. Just me. I won't cry. You won't cry, but you won't cry. Sorry, me. Sorry, my baby. Sorry, my baby boy. Oh my God. So we are done you guys oh that was that was an experience it was horrific <laughs> but really my boy is such a strong boy he's such a good boy ah the boy now odeji this can you open with radio thank you have a look inside submit your personal details and your guess of what's inside and we could be calling it to play one like that was all the cry that he cried everything you guys heard was was everything right he didn't he just stopped crying almost immediately like when they removed the job from him like that was really nice but i was so emotional i kept saying i'm, I'm so sorry i'm so sorry my husband said why are you sorry why is there is no it's enough for his own good i'm like see father they lack empathy <laughs> they just don't have it <laughs> but me i'm sorry so we had to buy food i told you guys i was very angry so i bought burger from chicken express let me show you it looks it looks good so i'm just going to devour that now i want to get to the african store to buy food i've been lacking or slacking on taking care of my family so resume duty i mean it's six weeks postpartum whatever it is that is doing your shoe 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 <laughs> so i want to get to uh, african store buy um food stuff to make soup and i'll see you guys when we get home guys it's the following day and it's been an absolute chaos on this side of the world <laughs> since yesterday so when we go home last night yeah i think we go home pretty much at night i'm trying to remember when we go home yeah we go home like six o'clock and i started cooking you know the evening was fine then at night my baby woke up with a fever and it was just so cranky like we did not sleep all through the night it, because it's the first time i think it's the immunization the jabs that made him so hot because i went on on the internet and searched for the side effect of immunization and said a fever is one of the things that can happen and god it was just so restless it was so restless it was so cranky it cried like the slightest touch it would cry ah i was so sad i was so sad i didn't know what to do <laughs> i think at the point i cried as well because i just didn't know what to do i was saying sorry so much <laughs> and he didn't even understand what i'm saying he didn't even understand what i was saying ish i just thank god for my husband i thank god because my husband is always calm in every situation <laughs> and you know I think he even knew what to do more than I did because I was, I mean, my emotions were already at play. I was already very emotional. 
I didn't know. Like when my husband was like, don't worry, it will be fine. Let's just go go and sleep. I'm like, how? How do you want to sleep? <laughs> how do you want to sleep? Baby is hot like this. You want to sleep? Ash, God. But it's better now. He slept all morning. So I think it finally slept in the morning. All through the night, he didn't sleep. And my baby is not like that. Like Chuba is one very predictable. I don't know if predictable is the word, but you can know that if he's awake, he wants to eat. So give him food, he will go back to sleep. If he doesn't want to sleep, he will stare at you in the face. Just carry him. He will keep looking at you and till he falls asleep, right? But that yesterday he just didn't know what to do. He was so restless, he was so cranky. Ah, and I felt his pain really. I did feel his pain. No more immunization. <laughs> I'm like, see, I'm not to give him my baby immunization again. I beg. We were fine before now. <laughs> anyway, I just thought to give you guys updates. Eh, hey, a lot. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Anyway, yeah, it's Saturday morning. Even me, I just, I slept around, what, 6 o'clock. And yeah, my husband did morning shift. Even though we were up together all night. But I'm just like, see. <laughs> I need to sleep before I break down. <laughs> so I went to bed around six o'clock. I woke up like maybe nine. So now I want to do laundry and all that. I just have to give you guys updates. Eh. <laughs> Send prayers. <laughs> My baby. Still not feeling great. It's so hot. So we have Panadol, but I said we can't use the Panadol. My husband said we can't use the Panadol because it's three months plus. That's what they were doing. And I don't think there's any other thing like less than three months. So we just have to wait it out. It's not up to 24 hours yet, so. If it lasts for more than 24 hours, you have to go to the hospital. Baby, you know. Yeah. You know that if the fever lasts for more than 24 hours, you have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But um, says you, if, what I read it says it's normal for first to second day. See how it's sounding so restless. several days later <clears throat> hi guys it's been a minute since i spoke to you guys it's been a very long time since i picked up this camera i'm not gonna lie and it's, ju it's just been a lot of many things it's been a lot of things and i just wanted to wrap up this vlog and because of you know the fever juba had is right here in case you can hear any sound i'm trying to work him to sleep okay now it's fully awake <laughs> So because of the fever he had, I couldn't even give you guys the breakdown of how the immunization went. Like, in terms of finance, right? So in terms of the finance, I couldn't give you guys a breakdown. So, and that's what I wanted to do before I end the vlog. I'm eating spaghetti, leftover spaghetti from yesterday. No, this one is not spaghetti. This one is macaroni. Leftover. <clears throat> and I'm whispering. I don't know why. So that's what I wanted to do before I end the vlog and it's feeling much better. Let me just tell you guys how the fever thing went down. It didn't stop, um, the temperature didn't come down, like it didn't come down the first day and I read that, you know, if the fever does not break after 24 hours, you should take the child to the hospital and it was close to 24 hours, the fever wasn't breaking and the my husband just kept insisting because the woman said that the nurse that gave him the injection said we shouldn't give him paracetamol and all that so we and we saw it on the internet that you shouldn't give children less than three months medicine except the doctor says so right so even my mom said give him paracetamol like if a child is hot the next thing to do is to give him paracetamol 
but she didn't push too much and i understand because of course she's not here and she knows that we children of nowadays we like to do things differently anyway um my family friend just give, give us the right type of paracetamol to give him and i just give him like i gave him the tiniest dose of paracetamol and in less than one hour it was fine i'm like why did i allow this child to suffer for almost 24 hours when a simple drop of paracetamol could have done the magic i don't know why they say we shouldn't give paracetamol in the hospital but i mean that's not a good advice that's not a good advice so what happens I, I just kept imagining okay so if i didn't give this boy this paracetamol this fever would just have continued for how long it didn't make any sense it didn't make any sense at all so i gave him the tiniest drop because of course it's a baby i understand i understand really but maybe they should just advise that give him a very little dose like the tiniest dose right and that would be fine that was what i did or that was what we did and i mean even us had peace the boy had peace he slept well even though he was eating he didn't up to the time of the fever he didn't stop eating but it wasn't comfortable it was hot like ah. anyway so that was that give him the tiniest dose of paracetamol the right um there is one from zero to three months right that's one i gave him and yeah that works next time i go for immunization i'm going to give my baby paracetamol i don't want stress i don't want trouble sorry just sleep well anyway i told you guys that we're going to we went to clicks to take the um immunization right so when we got there, I said we we're just going to pay, I think a total of 160 rand. I can't really remember. Um, so medical aid will cover the rest. They will usually ask you if medical aid is covering or you're paying. So they said, I'll be let medical aid cover it. And by the time we went to the till to pay, to get all the, to, to pay and all that, they asked if we had added our baby to our medical aid. And the answer was no that was a big shocker so we had not added him to the to our medical aid scheme at the time we went for the immunization so that just meant that we we're going to pay out of pocket oh that was so painful that was so so painful we made two thousand rands <laughs> so we paid two thousand rands instanta to get immunization i don't know if um that is how much we'll pay for the next one i honestly don't know but it was 2,000 rands to get that immunization that day. That's a lot of money, guys. If you're in Nigeria, multiply that by 40. <laughs> it wasn't like we totally forgot to add him to the scheme. It's just that when you add another family member to your scheme, your premium increases, right? So we're just like, okay, let's chill out. Since uh, we are not going to the hospital now or whatever. But you never know. These things just creep out on you. They just creep up when you're like, I'm here now. We paid 2,000 rands, I read, I was like, what? So don't make that mistake, make sure that as soon as your baby comes out, you add them to your medical aid scheme. And also, even though my auntie said that medical aid does not really cover for all those immunization jobs and all that, that they don't cover the cost. But whatever it is that they would have covered, maybe 100 rands or 200 rands. <laughs> it is still something, but then yeah, that's what I wanted to update you guys on. So as soon as your baby comes out, just add them to your medical aid scheme. You never know when you will need when you will need it. You never just know. Alright guys. I think I'm just going to end the vlog now. I think it's long enough. It's too long. It has dragged actually. And we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> we're almost at 3k subscribers, you guys. It's been a long way to get here. But honestly, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just going at my own pace at my own pace really but if we have not gotten to 3000 subscribers when you're watching this please click the subscribe button in fact if you have gotten there and we have surpassed it still click the subscribe button okay there are still other milestones to get to see the subscribe button click the subscribe button if you enjoyed the vlog which i hope you did please give it a thumbs up and share with somebody leave me a comment in the comment section until next time i come your way i hope that you do well and god bless you bye guys